Hello friends, today we are going to analyze the given 2D portal frame for the loading as shown in the figure and we are going to calculate the shear force, bending moment as well as axial thrust for each member. So going for the analysis, we have to first calculate the support reaction and we know that at hinge support, we have two reaction, one is vertical and one is horizontal and assuming the direction is shown then the reaction upward is RA and reaction horizontal is assumed as a HA as well as at the roller support we will have word reaction as a RD. Now for the calculation of this reaction we have to use the three equilibrium condition out of which one is sigma H equal to 0 and observing the figure the value is 5 kilo Newton as a HA. Now second equation is taking moment at any location equal to 0. So we are going to take the moment at location A. Now for location A, if we take the moment for this 5 kN load, then it is in the clockwise direction and we are going to assume clockwise as a positive. So for the 5 kN load, it is 5 into perpendicular distance as a 2 meter. So 5 into 2. Now for the UDL, the moment is total load into distance into distance by 2. So, the value is load into distance into distance by 2 and the value is of clockwise. So, we have to take it as a positive. Now, for the RD, it creates the anticlockwise moment at location A as the RD is in upward direction. So, we have to take this moment as a negative and perpendicular distance between A to D is 6 meter. So, it is as a 6 RD. So solving this value, we will have the value of reaction at location D as a 61.67 kN. Third equilibrium condition is sigma V equal to 0 and taking vertical upward force as a positive, we will have RA plus RD in vertical upward direction and 20 into 6 in downward direction. So it is negative 20 into 6. Now putting the value of RD as a 61.67, we will have the reaction at location A as a 58.33 kN. So first we have to calculate the all reactions of the support. After calculating the reaction, we have to discrete the wall given frame and apply a given load as well as the reaction as shown in the figure. Now, we have to neutralize or equalize all the discrete element by applying sigma h, sigma v and sigma moment. So first of all, if we go through the vertical loading from A to D, then at location A, we have 58.33 kN vertical load. So to make AB member in the equilibrium, we have to apply opposite load at location B, hence the downward load value is 58.33 kN at location B in the member AB. But we do not have any load at location B in the actual frame. So we have to apply opposite of this force at location B in the direction of C as a 58.33 kN. Now if we assume the BC member and if we take the point C then at the Location B 58.33 kN in upward direction, total 20 into 6 as a 120 into downward direction. So we are lacking for the 61.67 kN. So we have to apply a vertical upward 61.67 kN load so that this system is in the balance or equilibrium. Now at location C there isn't any load in the actual frame. So we have to apply opposite of this force at location C. And our value is 61.67 kN in downward direction. Now if we observe at location D, the downward load is 61.67 and upward load is 61.67. So total load is 0. So this frame is balanced due to the vertical loading. Now we have to take a horizontal loading and for that if we observe 5 kN load at location A as a reaction, then at E also 5 kN horizontal load which is neutralized this system. So we do not have to apply any horizontal load at location B. 
and if we do not have any horizontal load at location B then the system is already in the equilibrium now taking this load we have to calculate the moment so let us going for the moment we will have now at location B if we calculate the moment then our moment value is 5 into 4 in the clockwise direction so total value is 5 into 4 as a 20 and at location E it creates anti-clockwise moment so the value is negative 5 into perpendicular distance as a 2 so total value is 10 kilo Newton meter but this value is positive it means the at location B total generated moment is 10 kilo Newton meter clockwise but we have to equalize this system so at location B we have to apply anti-clockwise moment as shown and the value is 10 kilo Newton meter now as we calculated the vertical horizontal load we have to apply opposite of this load at location B similarly we have to apply opposite of this moment at location B as there isn't any external moment at location B so due to the moment anti-clockwise 10 kilo Newton meter at location B in this span AB we have to apply clockwise moment of value 10 kilo Newton meter in this span B to C at location B now if we calculate the moment at this location as a C then 10 kilo Newton meter in clockwise direction so it is positive now 58.33 into 6 in the clockwise direction so it is positive 58.33 into 6 now the 20 into 6 into 6 by 2 in anti clockwise direction due to the UDL so it is 20 into 6 into 6 by 2 and if we calculating this value we will have the answer as a 0 it means we do not have to apply any moment at location C and C support is in equilibrium so we have to not apply any moment in this part C to D using this value we have to draw a axial thrust diagram first an axial thrust diagram is the axial load diagram and in which we have to consider a load along the largest dimension of the given frame so for AB 58.33 kN which is compressive load so in A to B we have to do a compression diagram now B to C there isn't any horizontal load or along the length there isn't any load so the diagram is zero also for the CD line if we observe then 61.67 compressive load is there so for AB and CD vertical member we have to draw a compressive diagram for the axial thrust diagram which is and the value is negative due to the compressive diagram in A to B member our value is 58.33 kilo Newton and for C to D our value is 61.67 kilo Newton and for B to C our diagram is zero so this diagram indicates the axial thrust diagram for the given frame now using the calculated value if we draw a CF force diagram then at location A 5 kN upward load is there so we have to plot a 5 kN in upward direction now between A to E there isn't any load so we have a horizontal straight line now at location E 5 kN downward load is there so the value is 5 minus 5 as a 0 and there isn't any load so we have to draw a horizontal straight line so this value is 5 kN in positive direction as a shear force value now for B to C span if at location B 58.33 kN is in the positive now from 58.33 to the point C we have a 20 into 6 as a UDL downward load so 58.33 minus 20 into 6 as a minus 61.67 so from location B to the 61.67 downward or negative load we have to draw a inclined straight line as per the rule of shear force diagram for the UDL and if we observe the CD line there isn't any load which is in the shear so our diagram for CD is straight line now in between B to C there is a zero shear force it means at this location we must have the maximum bending moment now total span is given as a 6 meter so if we assume a x meter from location B then the rest value is 6 minus x and for calculating the value of x we have to apply the similar triangle rule and for that 58.33 divided by x 
which is equal to 61.67 divided by 6 minus x and now solving this value we will have the zero shear force location as a x from the point B which is 2.92 meter. So from point B at location 2.92 meter we will have the maximum bending moment. So first we are going for the calculation of maximum bending moment then at location 2.92 meter from the B if we take a moment then 58.33 into 2.92 in clockwise direction plus 10 kN meter clockwise moment minus due to the UDL of 20 kN per meter which is in anti-clockwise so it is negative load into distance into distance by 2 and calculating this value we will have the moment at location 2.92 which is 95.06 kN meter now this value is of positive so we have to apply the anti-clockwise moment in span B to C in the direction of B. Now using this value we have to draw a bending moment diagram and due to the point at location E if we take the moment at location E then the value is 5 into 2 in the clockwise. So it is as a 5 into 2 which is 10 kN meter and we have to apply anti-clockwise. So at location E also we have 10 kN meter as a moment. Now using this value we have to plot a moment diagram and observing the arrowhead here the 10 kN meter in the downward direction. So we have to do a downward value as a 10 at location E also 10 in the downward or anti-clockwise so in the downward direction and at location A the diagram is 0. So we have to connect this 3 line as a where the value is 10 kN meter. Now observing B to C line we have 10 kN meter clockwise moment or the arrowhead in the downward direction so 10 in the downward at location 2.92 we have a maximum value of 95.06 let us assume as a 95.06 value and at location C the value is 0 now in actual frame the B to C span is loaded with the UDL so we have to connect this 3 point with the curve so our diagram is and for C to D our diagram is 0 as there isn't any moment so, diagram indicates the bending moment diagram for the even frame in which the downward diagram for the bending moment is of the positive value. So, thus we can calculate the shear force diagram, bending moment diagram and axial thrust diagram for any given portal frame which is determinate frame using three equilibrium condition. Thank you.